What's going on YouTube? Happy Monday everybody, it's Vikings95 here and I am super excited for this video. I actually got my hands on some Fanatics exclusive Prism Blasters along with the normal Prism Blasters that I got from Target. I gotta give Jeremy a huge shout out for this. We did a little trade and I have two of the Fanatics exclusive Blasters. So Jeremy, thank you for the trade, I appreciate it. He actually threw in a couple other cards. We got a Justin Jefferson. That yeah, Justin Jefferson, Mosaic Silver, a Kene Wangu from Prestige, Kene Absolute Rated Rookies, a Prism Rookie, Mosaic, Mosaic Green, and a Purple, Purple Hollow from Optic of Kene. So that is sweet. Thank you, Jeremy, so much. I uh, I really do appreciate it, and uh, I'm excited for the review. So of course I do have one more of these uh, Fanatics exclusive blasters set aside. But for this video, we are going to be comparing the Fanatics box, which is over here, against the Target Blaster. So the Fanatics has two rookie orange ice prisms, and then the, uh, the Blaster from Target has two rookie disco prisms. So the orange ice and the disco are the big difference. Um, of course, my Target order never comes in completely clean. This box did get a little damaged. Thankfully, this was the worst box that I had. So the two other ones that I got from the order uh, were decent. This one, just a little, little, you know, deformation there, um, but hopefully should be all good. Here's the sides of both of them. One silver prism per box on average. We're going to see which one, uh, which one tops it. So I'm excited for it. Slight, slight differences, but uh, you know, it, it's pretty much all in the rookie cards. I have seen a lot of these blaster box openings that are tough, so I'm not getting my hopes up too high. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Of course, it's Prism, so I am excited regardless. It's always fun opening Prism. So, here we go. We have the six packs from the Fanatics exclusive. And the six packs from the Normal Blaster. And they look the exact same. The boxes look different, but the uh, the packs look the exact same. Really, the one to, the way to tell, as you can see on the on the back, you can see Fanatics Blaster, FNBL, and then EXBL. So Excel, which is the Target brand. So that is the best way to tell uh, where these packs came from. So we have Fanatics on the left. I guess I should throw the boxes in the back just to, just to have them back there. We got Fanatics on the left. And normal prism on the right. Let's see what we can get. I'm hoping the Fanatics ones are better. That's my hope. We'll see if it happens. All right, Peyton Manning starting us off. Jeremy Chin, Aziz Ojolari. It's actually not terribly centered or anything. So uh, we have a rookie. We have a Cardinal. Rondell Moore with the Disco, the Rookie Disco. Our first one is Rondell Moore, and then a Kid Reporter card. But uh, not bad, not terrible. Decent centering, actually, which is kind of rare, uh, except for the back. The back side is much different than the front. You can see it's much fatter over here than it is over there. So Rondell Moore with our first Rookie Disco. I'm excited to see what these orange ice cards look like. Let's see. The first pack, are you kidding? Come on, Panini. The first pack, we're shorted a card. We have a Rock Yasin, Yatur Gross Matos, and a Shane Bruchel rookie with no possible orange ice. Come on. Oh, that is irritating. That is irritating. Shorted a card out of the first pack. All right, we're we're keep we're gonna keep moving on, but I hope that is not the way it happens for the majority of packs. That would be very disappointing. Pack number two, the Target Prison Blaster, Jameson Crowder, Daniil Hunter, Pittsburgh Steeler. We have a Juju Smith Schuster. Man, I was hoping that was a Najee, and then a James Robinson for the veteran disco. Man, I really hope that that was not a uh, a rookie orange ice out of that pack over there. Really hoping. Oh, but I also feel like it might have been. Yeah. The quality control is absolutely terrible. Corey Davis, Kenneth Murray, 
Deontay Johnson, and then our first Orange Ice. It is a rookie. It is a Steeler, Najee Harris, and that is beautiful. That is such a cool-looking card. The Orange Ice, Najee Harris. That is so cool. That is a uh, that is a great looking parallel right there. And it's actually centered pretty decent. Not bad. I mean, I guess it is a little fat on that side, skinnier on that side. But Najee Harris with the orange ice. I'm actually going to throw that in a top loader. That is a sweet looking rookie right there. That's awesome. I like that one. Throw that in the back for now. All right. So far... I'm going to give the upper hand to the uh, Fanatics Blaster, even though the first pack was only three cards, not four. Here we go. We have another disco out of this one. LaVisca Chanel Jr., Latavius Murray, Rookie, Odafe Owe, The Raven, and then a Washington football team, Montez Sweat. Montez Sweat for the Vet Disco. Come on, Fanatics. Come on, Fanatics. Let's see. We have another Orange Ice. DJ Shark Jr. Cameron Jordan. Ian Book. Sadly, he's been the, the big name out of these so far. We have another Steeler. I guess the big quarterback. Uh, Steeler? Minka Fitzpatrick with the Orange Ice. I like that. Nice Minka. Apparently, we're sticking with the Steelers. Those Orange Ices. I don't know. I don't think the Disco can keep up with them. Those orange ice look sweet. But can we get a, a rookie silver? Let's hope. A big name rookie silver, silver would be sweet. We have Aaron Donald, Charles Woodson, New York Giants, not a rookie, Saquon Barkley, and then we have a Green Bay Packer. Let's odd oh, is our rookie. Kylan Hill. Man, this guy's following me around, and I have these... Piles all mixed up. There we go. Wrong spot, wrong spot. Saquon over there and a Kylan Hill with the disco. And that kind of hurts. We are not looking for Kylan Hill rookies. Let's put it that way. The Rondell Moore is going to stay on top for the, uh, the disco. We do have two more packs, but we most likely don't have any more of the rookie discos. We should, however, have a rookie ice, I hope. I hope that wasn't the missing card out of the first pack, but we will see. Matthew Stafford, Randy Moss. It is our silver. It is not a rookie, sadly, but it is Von Miller of the Denver Broncos, followed by a fireworks Jamar Chase. All right, Fanatics is definitely holding the lead with that fireworks Jamar Chase. The Von Miller silver is beautiful. You got you gotta love the silver prisms, but sadly it is not a rookie card. Throw that down there. All right, two packs to two packs. Fanatics, I, I'm we're still in question. Still in question if that first pack not having four cards is gonna impact us. Sadly, I think it might, but we'll see. We have a Ryan Tannehill, Marlon Humphrey, rookie, Bills. Carlos Boogie Basham. And these rookies kind of look really faded. Um, like, look at those two cards. That rookie looks super faded in comparison. Even against, I don't know. Something looks off. Maybe the printer is running low on ink. Then we have an Atlanta Falcon. Rookie? Nah. Russell Gage of the Falcons for that disco. All right, so that one should have a silver, we hope. This one right here. Come on, we need one more rookie ice. One more rookie ice. This one does have an ice. A.J. Brown, Leonard Williams, Ben Skoranek. And then do we have it? Do we have it? We have a rookie. It is red. Could it be a Kyle Pitts for the San, oh, San Francisco 49ers? Oh, Elijah Mitchell with the rookie card. Elijah Mitchell. Of course, we're hoping for a Trey Lance, but you know what? That is sweet. Elijah Mitchell, Prism rookie. That is uh, that is a sweet looking card right there. 
I gotta say, I love these orange ices. Those look so cool out of the Fanatics packs. Here is the last pack of our first blaster from Target. Rookie Silver, I hope. Thankfully, we did get two of the uh, the rookie ices out of the Fanatics one. We have a Nick Bosa. We do have a Silver. We have a Travis Fulham. We have... Dang, it is not a rookie again. It is a Cameron Jordan Silver, followed by a Travis Etienne Emergent. So I do like the Travis Etienne Emergent, but sadly, again, no rookie Silvers out of either Blaster Box. A Cameron Jordan and a Von Miller. So here we go, last pack of the opening. Hopefully this one has all four cards. What could, what was possibly missing out of that first pack? That's the question we gotta ask. We have a Tyler Higby, Travis Kelsey. This is the, I, I don't know how to say it nicely. This is a terrible decision to throw one coach rookie of Rex Ryan in Panini packs. Come on. I, that's, I, I'm not a fan of it. Let's put it that way. Not a fan of it. I've seen people pull his auto. It's unbelievable. You should not be pulling Rex Ryan autos out of hobby boxes. But Kyle Juszczyk is the last uh, orange ice that we're seeing. There's the Rex Ryan. Kyle Juszczyk right behind him. And so I do, I don't know. Let's see. Let's count it up. So we are missing. Dang. We are missing one orange ice. I believe it was supposed to be, does it say on here? I thought it was supposed to be five per box, but I don't know. You never know. You see two per box on average, and I thought it was three uh, of the non-rookies. So I think we did get shorted in orange ice parallel, sadly. Um, but apparently that's just what Panini does nowadays. They are, their quality control has been absolutely terrible on these Prism products and on some recent releases. But with that, I gotta say, these Fanatics boxes are hands down the winner. This looks so cool. The Najee Harris Orange Ice Rookie, just a beautiful looking card. And of course, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I love the cracked ice cards. Um, I've always been a big fan of them. So hitting these things out of retail is pretty cool, especially if you're supposed to get five per box or I guess four per box in our case. But uh, rookie wise, I think Fanatics, Fanatics takes it and uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes in the future. Of course, I will be opening a few more Prison Blaster boxes, but not in today's video. So uh, with that, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your week, everyone. I'll see you later.